Hey guys, Stable at VGC here, and today we're back with another episode of Crazy Climbing. Today we're going to pick off right where we left off last time, and hopefully on the winning note, with the Reshi Ram and Ninetales team. And uh, hopefully we can uh, win a few more games. But uh, it's come to my attention that this team kind of sucks. I mean, I built it in 10 minutes and I'm not really surprised. But you know what, there's a scissor and a weave so let's have some fun. Hopefully we can find an opponent rather quickly in this one. I guess not. <laughs> They're all scared of our teams. Or we're just so low of a rating that no one wants to battle us. Also possible. Change the music for you guys. I don't know what music I have. But sure, we'll go with this. Go Elite Four. That's assuming we find an opponent. But uh, anyways, I'll probably use this team in this episode and the next one. Then then wrap it up. But we got an opponent from Japan at 14.28. With a team of... Lugia, <laughs> Crocodile, Raichu, Kyogre, Ludicolo, and Serena. So the main reason I chuckled was because it's probably going to be Z Tailwind Lugia, and then they're going to try to crit their Anger Point Crocodile. But like, if they crit their Anger Point Crocodile, I'm pretty sure they just kill it. <laughs> but uh, definitely going to lead Serena here. Not trying to get uh, fake dead or anything. I think Serena is a really good lead. Um, I definitely want Nine Tails for the Sun. In fact, I can just lead Ninetales straight up. So I'm going to go Serena Ninetales. So I'm guaranteed Sun. And then I definitely want Weavile because it definitely shuts down that uh, uh, the Lugia, if I could speak English. And I mean, I can make a case for Choice Specs Xerneas here. And I think I might have to bring it. Yeah, I have to go Zern, unfortunately. I kind of wanted to go Reshiram, but I do need to go Zern. But uh, we're going to jump right into things here, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we can win. But I am scared of that Lugia Crocodile lead. I, I honestly don't know how I'm supposed to beat that. But, uh, yeah. We got Serena Ninetales as our lead. And they're going to go Lugia Raichu. So they're looking to fake out. But you know what? I'm not mad about this. Okay, so... Ninetales comes immediately out into Weavile. And I'm just going to go for the target Lugia to break the uh, Sash, I guess. I'll go Faint. Makes the most sense. And then I'll go back into uh, Weavile here. Okay. Goal for this episode is to not lose. But Weavile coming in. Hopefully, after the chip on uh, Lugia here, we'll be good to go. But he's probably going to go... I would imagine Z-Tailwind, right? It has to go Z-Tailwind. I mean, he could just arrow blast my Serena. It's very possible. Raichu goes Volt Switch. That's actually going to hurt Weavile. Oh, well, actually, did less than I thought it would. Okay, so Ogre comes back in now, right? And then Z Tailwind. Okay, he just comes into Serena. Okay, that's okay, because that's not a lot of pressure on my Weavile. And there's the Z-move. And it's got to be Z-Tailwind, right? Like, Yeah, that's going to be Z-Tailwind. 100%. Critical hit ratio, yep. There's the Z-Tailwind. But what does scare me is the Lugia can potentially kill my Weavile now. And I have no way to match Tailwind. At all. So I kind of just lose. Because <laughs> I can't fake out. And if Weavile dies, we lose. Unless Helping Hand Ice Shard picks up this Lugia, which I think I have to go for. Yeah, there's no way that kills though. Yeah, but the thing is, he kills me. Does he kill me with Arrow Blast? You know what? Because I don't know, I am going to Helping Hand into my Weavile, and I am going to go for the Icicle Crash into the Lugia. But that's only because I don't know if Arrow Blast can actually kill me. So we're going to get a helping hand off here. Arrow Blast, but he might target Serena like an idiot. He does target Serena like an idiot. Alright, and I live. That's hilarious. <laughs> Why do we live? <laughs> Unless that Serena is faster than Weavile, then in which case we lose. No, Weavile uses Icicle Crash, it connects. That's 100% going to pick up the Lugia. So not a bad turn, but depends on what the Serena is going to do. It's going to high jump kick. Has to high jump kick. Hopefully he misses. 
He just U-turns. That'll pick up uh, Weavile. No doubt in my mind. Yeah. So Weavile goes down there. But him losing one of his restricteds is huge. So he's either forced to bring in Kyogre right here. Or he doesn't have Kyogre. Well, I guess or he can bring... I guess he doesn't have to. So there's the Crook. So what have we seen? We've seen Crook, Serena, and Lugia. But what did he lead... And right here. So he doesn't have it. But definitely going to come into Ninetail. Uh, no. Xerneas comes in. Yeah, Zern coming in right now. Just looking for some uh, Choice Specs Dazzling Gleam. Because, like, that'll kill everything. Helping Hand Choice Specs Dazzling Gleam. Rex takes lives. Uh, do I go for it, though? That's the question. I mean, I kind of have to, but I'm worried about getting doubled into here, like, with a Tech Rage from this Crook. Like, does Crocodile Tech Rage me here? I mean, Xerneas should survive two attacks. I would think. So I'm going to Helping Hand Dazzle here, just to get some immediate pressure. Serena's going to go Helping Hand. But yeah, I, th I honestly think I can survive anything that this Crocodile wants to do. Yeah, Crocodile's going Rock Slide. Biggest, worst case scenario here is that I flinch, and that would honestly be pretty bad. Serena goes Power Whip. That's fine, Xerneas takes that, no problem. Actually, that did a lot more than I wanted to. Xerneas gets the Dazzling Gleam off, which is perfect. So Crocodile should die. Yeah, Crocodile definitely dies. Um, Serena down pretty low, so next turn I'm just going to protect. And I'm honestly going to faint to break the uh, Focus Sash of the Raichu. I can't faint, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I'll probably just uh, power whip it then. Yeah, I'll power whip the two, and I'm going to protect here just to stall out the Tailwind. Actually, I can't protect, so I'll swap into... Is swapping into Ninetales worth it though, or is Ninetales my win path? So if I swap into Ninetales here, and he double targets it. No, I think it's still safe. I still think it's safe. Get Ninetales in here. And then Xerneas can hopefully win this in the back. Hopefully that's not a stupid play. Could've let Xerneas go down. But right you're going knockoff. Ninetales survive. Okay, that didn't do too much. That's okay. Serena goes U-turn. Does that kill me? It does. Okay, so now we have issues. So that's the physical Raichu, and I think we lose now. Because I don't think we can survive both of these attacks. But if Ninetales can get the Heat Wave off, we win. Like, if Ninetales survives whatever Raichu goes for, I think we win. Or if Raichu targets Xerneas, we win. But either way, I go Daz- oh, not Moonblast. I go Dazzling Gleam. And then I go for the uh, Heat Wave as well. That should hopefully pick up- Heat wave into sun, that'll definitely hit Raichu pretty hard and definitely kill Serena, no, no issues there. Just a matter of what Raichu wants to do. Serena goes helping hand, so he's, he knows he has to get rid of this, uh... Has to get rid of the, uh, Ninetales. That kills, right? We live in, and that was a crit, okay. This Raichu has no attack investment whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna take a win, which is surprising. <laughs> but, uh, choice spec Xerneas. And for some reason, Weavile not being targeted by the uh, Lugia there. When is this? Wait, what? Why did Raichu live that? <laughs> is it a salt vest? It's gotta be a salt vest. But I just double into him now. Right. Uh. Yeah. I just double into him here, and that's game over. Mattress forfeited. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it was. Definitely assault vest the way it took that Choice Specs Dazzling Gleam. I mean, it's not even that bulky, so it had to be Choice Specs. But we get our first win, thankfully. I mean, that was pretty lucky. I mean, he should have just arrow blasted the Weavile, because I'm honestly pretty pretty sure that that kills. Wait, apparently I'm saving that battle video for no reason. I'm going to have to delete that later now. But uh, <laughs> we'll jump into one more. And hopefully we can win this game and get back above 1,500. <laughs> Go back to 3 and 3. Call it even. But uh, I'm honestly not too confident in this team. But we do fight an opponent, 1,500 rated, from Japan as well. And, uh... What? <laughs> okay, Mono Water. You want to talk about uh, interesting games? You got Mono Water. Um, does Xerneas just win this? Like, I mean, if I had Geomancy, yes. <laughs> but I don't have Geomancy. Um, <laughs> Serena comes, Xerneas comes, Reshiram is useless because I only have fire type attacks. Um, 
Nine Tails for the Sun could be interesting. And then Scizor is what I'm thinking right now. Um, yes. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to do. But yeah, I definitely like Scizor here. I'm gonna go... Serena is the lead for sure. Even though he has no fake out. But like, Serena just puts on immense pressure. And I'm gonna go Xerneas. With Nine Tails and Scizor in the back. So pretty much my game plan here is if he leads something that's gonna kill Zern, like the Palkia. I'm gonna swap Serena out into... Excuse me, I'm gonna swap Serena out into... Into Night Tails to get the sun up so Xerneas can survive and get like a Dazzling Gleam off to kill the Palkia. Or a Moonblast off, depending on what else, he, what else he leads beside it. But at this point, Choice Specs Dazzling Gleam should just win me this game. I just need to protect Xerneas enough. He goes Bruxish Kyogre. Okay, so this is interesting. It is indeed not Choice Scarf Kyogre. Okay, so it's not Choice Scarf, which is good. Now, I could helping hand Moonblast the thing and probably kill it. But then that leaves Bruxish for free. So I am going to swap in my son. And I'm going to just click Dazzle. That's Moonblast, right? Don't click Moonblast, click Dazzle. Yeah, I'm going to swap in my son and click Dazzle. That should put both of these 50%. And then another Dazzle will kill, plus like probably a Solar Beam from my Ninetales. Solar Beam in the Sun from Ninetales is huge. I don't know what Bruxus wants to do. You might see something like Psychic Fangs, Waterfall, because it's in the rain. But I honestly, I know it gets Strong Jaw and whatever that ability is, Dazzling. That's stuff priority. And it gets Dazzling. But Sun coming up with Ninetales. Bruxus is going to go after you. Is that after you, Water Spout, or Z-Move? Kyogre goes Ice Beam. Alrighty then. <laughs> Ice beam into my night tails all you want, buddy. And I'm getting my choice specs dazzling gleam off. Okay, we take those. That did not do as much as I wanted it to to Kyogre. But that's okay, because I'm definitely free to go for Solar Beam. And I don't know if that Bruxis is choice scarf. Because I honestly think it's the faster speed priority here, so I can't guarantee it. But going for after you once again. Making me believe it is Choice Scarf. Otherwise, he probably would have wanted to switch out or do something else. I, is that Choice Specs Kyogre? Maybe? Because that did 50% and that's crazy. But we do get a uh, quick 2-0 lead here. Because this does, this Solar Beam should definitely kill uh, Kyogre here. No problem. I, I, I lied. Never mind. Apparently it doesn't. Nine Tails sucks. But I do get the Dazzling Gleam off. Oh yeah, that crit mattered. Big time. Um, okay, so early early lead for us, but it's not over yet because there is a, uh, there's a Pelkey in the back. Part of me really wishes I had Tailwind on this team. I mean, I do, but it's on the rest of your Palkia is in. Shiny Palkia. Alright. And Crawdon. Okay. So, the issue with this, is first of all, I'm just going to Solar Beam the Crawdon, and I'm going to swap out my Xerneas here. So I beam the crowd on, and yeah, I'm coming to Serena here. I don't know what Palkia wants to do though. Like I can't really go for the water type attack in the sun, but I'm scared of just getting doubled into Zern and losing Zern because Zern's my win condition against the Palkia. So if I can get rid of that, we good. I'm just not sure if I can get rid of it. So if I can kill Crawdon with Night Tails and Solar Beam, that's huge. That'll win us the game immediately. This stops an Aqua Jet potential. Speaking of the Aqua Jet, <laughs> there's the Aqua Jet, here's a Nine Tails Solar Beam. That should do easily 75%. It's a Crawdon. Like, its special defense is pretty bad. Not as bad as Tractana's, but it's pretty bad. Yeah, okay, that kills. Okay, and with that, I'm pretty sure we just win now, depending on what Palkia goes for. Palkia goes Fire Blast in the sun. Okay, Serena, it was very nice talking to you. It was always a pleasure. <laughs> and actually, now I'm kind of scared. Yeah, now I'm actually seriously concerned. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to bring in Scizor and Protect. And go for a Solar Beam into the Palkia. But is Solar Beam worth it or do I, should, should I just go Heat Wave? How many turns of Sun is there? Two? Okay, so there's two more turns of Sun. I just don't want him to click Fire Blast into my... Yeah, I'm going to have to click Solar Beam here. And I am going to Protect because like I feel like he's going to target Scizor here. Like, why would you not Fire Blast into Scizor? Unless you predict a protect, which I mean is possible, but 
Ninetales going, Ninetales going for the Solar Beam. So hopefully I can get a couple of these off before I have to bring in Ninetales. Before I have to bring in Xerneas, sorry if I could speak. Uh, Palkia goes Fire Blast into Protect, which is perfect. Okay. So Solar Beam, as you can see, is doing absolutely nothing. So I'm going to switch over to the Heat Wave in the Sun, and just to see if it does more. And I could Bullet Punch, and I think I'm going to have to, just because I die if I don't. So I'm going to Bullet Punch this Palkia for some damage. Alright, that actually did a lot more than I thought it would. So here's a Heat Wave. So my pretty much my game plan is is that he's gonna kill. Yeah, he's gonna fire blast. He's gonna kill Scizor here. No doubt in my mind he kills Scizor. Okay, so now the thing is the sun is gone. So there's no reason for him to go for fire blast, right? He should go for the water type move. Right? So if he's gonna go for the water type move into my Xerneas, and I set the sun up, I should be able to survive and get a moon blast off. Or I could also just be faster than this Palkia and we could win this game. We could have won this game a long time ago. But uh, definitely going to go Sunny Day, get the sun back up. But there's no reason for him to go for Fire Blast. Like, if I set the sun up for him, like, there's no reason for him to go Fire Blast. Unless he's locked into it. Ninetales goes Sunny Day. Please use, like, Hydro Pump or something. Please use Hydro Pump. Don't you dare go for Fire Blast. <laughs> if I get Fire Blasted, I'm going to cry. And we're faster anyways, never mind. <laughs> Man, I could have won this game 72 turns ago. But yeah. We pick up two wins in today's episode, and uh, I think Ninetales put in a lot of work. <laughs> the sun, the sun is uh, putting work there. I mean, shut down the rain there immediately. Yeah, that was just game at that point. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.